Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and another monthly empties video. You can see most of them on screen, I'm going to quickly go through them. If you want to know any more information about these products, there will be a blog post up within the next week. So if you want to check out my blog, my blog is always linked at the bottom of the description box. There will be more information there. So I'll just jump straight in with this Rimmel Lasting Finish Foundation in Ivory. This is quite a good foundation. It's not my favourite foundation but I do like it and I do use it and I do have a full one upstairs ready to use. It's a medium coverage and this shade is darker than my skin tone so I only use it when I'm tanned. Next is my favourite bubble bath. It's about £1.40 but when it's on offer it's a pound. This smells lovely, it's nice to put it in the bath and get in it and relax. Radox is fantastic for the price. This was a Christmas one that I got from Asda in the sale in January. It's Let Them Eat Cake, Ice Gingerbread House. I preferred the other one which was a vanilla one. This is gingery as you might imagine. It's okay, I liked it for a pound, I wouldn't want to spend more than a pound on it and I don't know how much it is full price. My favourite face cream is always 7 in 1 fragrance free. I go through one of these around every 4 to 6 weeks. I have this mini roller lash by Benefit. It's really nice but it gives, gives the same effect as the Maybelline Lash, lash Sensational. So if you don't want to spend £20 on one and you can, you've got less than £10 to spend then I'd definitely recommend picking up the Maybelline one instead. Next is this Garnier Mineral Ultra Dry Deodorant. I think this was in last month's favourites. It's fantastic for the price. I highly recommend it. I've literally used this every day and that's why it's run out. It is really, really good. My all time favourite beauty products is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. I go through this like crazy. I use it every single day. I will take my makeup off with a cleansing wipe, then I'll go in with this and then I'll use a cleanser as well. This is brilliant, it never irritates my skin, it never dries it out, it does what it's meant to do. Original Source Shower Gel in Coconut and Shea Butter. This smelt lovely, it didn't last a long time, it was thin but not watery. It's always on offer for a pound so it's definitely worth buying, it doesn't irritate your skin, it smells nice and it gets you clean. This is one of my favourite foundations, I mainly use it on my neck because I suffer from breakouts on my neck that I've been getting in the last six months. This helps cover them up and make me feel more confident because it does cover them up. It's on offer in Superdrug in the three for two. So I've just bought another one. because I've got this cow shared gorgeous cow blissful body lotion. I've lost the lid. It smells lovely. It does have rose in it which I don't like and I believe it's got lavender which I don't like but mixed with the Yangi Ylang Ylang, it does smell lovely, I highly recommend this. I always use the Gillette Satin Cur shaving foams. I like this vanilla one, this is really nice. I also like the purple one, I can't remember what that's called. So another one is another Radox product. This is the first time I've actually tried this one. Pomegranate and red apple scent. It smelled really, really nice and I would repurchase this. This is my favourite night cream, it's the Garnier Sleeping Cream, it smells lovely, it feels lovely on my skin, never dries my skin out, helps it keep, keep moisturised, it's about £15, I always buy it when it's on offer. This is the Urban Vida Purifying Day Cream, I've got the large jar of this. This is lovely, but when you put it on it kind of makes your eyes water because of how I don't know how to describe it, it basically goes quite cold on your skin at first and it is kind of intense and it just makes my eyes water for a little bit but it's really nice and moisturising. Next is a new find which is this super drug body butter in coconut and orchid. This smells lovely, it isn't the most moisturising but I got this and it was on offer for £1.50 and it was buy one get the second half price so I basically got two for £2.25 when the £3.99 each so it was basically two for less than the price of one. This is my Soap and Glory Brow Archery in Love is Blonde. I have very very pale lashy brows and 
it looks like I've not got any until I put this on. I love this, I've already repurchased it, I will buy it again and again and again because it is fantastic. I fell in love with this mascara in June and I used it all in June. I wish I'd tried this sooner, it is one of the best mascaras I've ever tried. It makes my lashes look amazing, it curls them, it lengthens them, it thickens them. It is fantastic, I highly highly recommend this and I will be repurchasing it very soon. As always there's a Palmer's Cocoa Butter Body Lotion because I use it every single day, it smells amazing, it's brilliant, you always end up with about that much in the bottom that you can never get out but I don't mind because I love it. It's the Soap and Glory Sugar Crush Body Scrub, I hated this, I absolutely hated this, I didn't like the scent, I didn't like the texture, I didn't like anything about it, it was too thin, it was literally fall out my hand into the bottom of the shower so I'd have to get more out and use more. I didn't feel like it exfoliated it the way I wanted it to, it left my skin dry. I would not recommend this, do not go out and buy it, it is terrible. I'm sorry Soul and Glory but this is the worst product I've tried by you. Empties video, as I said at the beginning of the video, if you want any more information about these products check out my blog because there will be a blog post up within a week of this video going live if it's not already up. I will be back again next month with another monthly empties video. Thank you for watching and if you've not already done so please subscribe to my channel. I will be back again soon. Bye everyone.